Well, hi there. I know that you don't want to really hear about it, but I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> so listen, the reason that Trump got voted into office back when he did was because he talked about securing the border. That was one of the main things. And everybody said, oh, you're a racist. It's terrible. But we had a terrible thing going on. We had child trafficking, and we had people coming that had no place to stay, and they died along the way. Anyway, he got that under control in a large fashion. But now Biden has changed all the laws again, and now we're in deep crap. <laughs> and if you don't believe it, listen to this. Ken Cuccinelli, former acting DHS secretary, a key player in former President Trump's border security strategy, is with me now. We're going to see again, it's really going on, we're just not testing for it, the recycling of children across that border by the cartels. This is a bonanza for the most vicious, evil organizations in the Western Hemisphere, the Mexican drug cartels, who do control that border. Yeah, it's a it's a full intelligence network, and the cartels and, and enacted new business business procedures because that's how they view it. Um, when Joe Biden was sworn in, because they could get away with it, and they knew it because Joe Biden told them that publicly. I mean, you can look all the way back for months and months. This has been coming, and um, in fact, they were gearing up before he was sworn in. Mexico's president said this is unsustainable, uh, as Reuters reported, and this is not doing anything positive for our neighbors to the south. President Trump got to, through so, sort of tough negotiating, but got to some very mm -hmm. strong partnerships, strong cooperation, the best we've ever had with the Northern Triangle countries of Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador, as well as Mexico. And you described the role Mexico played, Harris, very accurately. And, and, and part of the reason they're trying so desperately to play this down and to avoid using the word crisis is that Joe Biden is personally responsible for this. He invited them to come illegally, what you just heard Jacobson call a more humane policy. What they mean is we won't enforce the law. Well, we have our own little problem here. Millie started an online relationship with um, somebody from the South American area, and he wants to come here, and she wants to go meet him at the border. And, uh, you know, we're trying to help out, and, you know, we like the guy. He seems to be nice. And uh, um, I think they're Skyping right now, so let's, let's see what's going on in that situation. <laughs> well, and now we've got to secure our border. And I know we want to get to the other side. Well, we've got a problem here, and I don't know how you're going to make it. Up or under. I got a question for you, amigo. When I hit the wall, will you be there? Will you still want me? Will you still care? I know I'm not a bad man, my situation's sad. I only want to pick some fruit. Need to make some money, give it to my honey, maybe buy a leaf. Reach the 
political issue. Everybody, if you care about human beings and human rights, you should absolutely care about border security. Let me tell you, the cartel between human trafficking and drug trafficking, get for people to come here, they're raping the women, they're using children as pawns, they are extorting the men, and not to mention the drugs that they are pouring into our communities, affecting our loved ones and American lives and communities. We won't tolerate it as sheriffs, that's why we're standing up against it. We have been for a long time. But we have to get vocal and we need the American people's help to stop this because this is not going to be good for America. This is about human trafficking and drug trafficking. We're going to continue to fight. The sheriffs understand the rule of law. We understand the Constitution. And we're going to push back against bad policies from this president and his, uh, his administration.